Hi, I'm Severi from Monet Plugins. Uh, today I'm about to show you the latest plugin we made. It's called ADDA uh, or ADDA as you prefer. And uh, it's an emulation of uh, what happens inside a vintage uh, analog to digital and digital to analog converter. Uh, this plugin is uh, essentially um, an analog input uh, stage, an analog emulation of the input stage of the converters. Then it's uh, a resample and a bit crusher to simulate the analog to digital converter. Then we have another bit crusher with dithering to simulate the digital to analog conversion. And then we have another analog emulation uh, for the output stage. Uh, all this is packed together and uh, uh, before the analog input uh, you can have a pre-emphasis filter which is a, a nice shelf that uh, uh, allows you to give more brittle to the high frequencies which are usually lost during uh, uh, the old, uh, the old uh, analog to digital conversion because in vintage uh, converters uh, usually you had very low sample rate so you can uh, recover some of the highs that are lost due this, to this conversion with a pre-emphasis filter and the same you have on the output which is a de-emphasis filter that can apply the inverse equalization or be unlinked and apply completely different um, high shelf equalization uh, then you of course have has over sample and you have a lots of control for to tweak the process uh, but uh, it's not time to talk anymore i will show you the interface of the plugin and explain what every single knob and text box does so this is the interface and uh, as i told you we have the pre-emphasis filters here that are actually linked together and not used in this example then you have uh, the link I.O. switch that connects the input and output knob of the analog sections so that you always have uh, a constant gain and uh, you are not being fooled by loudness increase if you drive the input for example to get more analog distortion. Then you have the oversample control that allows you to oversample to up to four times or a, a handy auto uh, option that automatically sets the oversample to none, two or four times accordingly to your sample rate. So if you're running a low sample rate, it oversample four times. If you're running a higher sample rate, two times and uh, none if you're running uh, at 120, 192 kilohertz. Then we have uh, the main um, plugin controls here. We have the analog input, which has an, analog, uh, an input gain knob that allows you to increase the input level up to 30 dB, 15 dB, sorry. And then you have a saturation knob that increases the amount of saturation. Uh, when it's uh, actually set to zero, it's uh, a regular high-end device. If you set it to 100%, you are going into the realm of uh, cheap converters like the one found uh, in vintage uh, um, samplers like the older Akai's or uh, AMU. Uh, so if you want more analog grid and uh, uh, more vintage sound, keep this to 100%. Otherwise, if you want a high-end sound, just stick it to 0%. Then we have the analog to digital conversion. Oh, by the way, of course, each module can be turned on or off with these switches. So if you don't want the analog input, just turn it off. If you don't want the analog to digital conversion, but just the digital to analog, just turn off this one and leave active this one. You have uh, the option to choose whatever you want. Uh, in the analog to digital conversion section, you can choose the bit depth of your converters. I have choose 12 bit, 12 bit uh, um, of depth because this is what uh, some really re reward, really uh, renowned sample sampler used back in the day. Uh, so I want to, for this project I want to simulate the kind of sound and I enabled the bit depth conversion. Then I have the sample rate conversion and I did uh, the same with that because it's uh, 32 kilohertz like one of those sampler I mentioned before um, they were made by Akai probably and uh, I have enabled the sample rate converter. Then I have the option to choose the interpolation mode um, from the 
uh, most cheap in terms of GPU usage, which is none, none, none no interpolation applied, to the most um, correct and which produces less aliasing, um, which is the cubic interpolation, but it costs much more in terms of cheap CPU usage. Uh, usually I stick with sample and hold or linear, which give good results and are cheap on the CPU. You can also have the option to disable the anti-alias filter. This uh, creates much more aliasing, but maybe this is what you want when you're using this tool as an effect. And so this is an option you have. On the digital to analog conversion, I stick to the same bit depth because I am simulating the output uh, converter of the sampler. Uh, I've, let's say in this process, I have recorded a sample with this particular sampler and I'm playing it back with the same sampler. Uh, if I wanted, I could have uh, chosen a different bit depth for the digital to analog conversion or the analog to digital conversion to create uh, um, an interplay between the noises created by the quantization at different bit depths. Uh, and I also have enabled that. I set, I choose to set the dether level to negative 90 dB, which is the default value. So some quantization noise is covered by background hiss. This is what happens usually in uh, uh, digital to analog conversion to reduce the quantization noise. Then you have the analog output section, um, the, which uh, it mirrors the analog input. So you have the output gain knob and saturation knob. Uh, if I turn on, since link IO is active, if I increase the input gain, I get an equivalent negative output gain of the same level to keep the gain constant. But I can change the output gain manually at and that's fine too, nothing changes in the input, but if I change it again, it gets updates and set back to the, to the level. If I want to control that individually, I can simply unlink them and uh, I can just adjust them without uh, any of the other affecting the other one. So, uh, I'll increase the saturation, because that's what I, I want to give more vintage sound to this example. Then, um, I'm going to work on uh, this first track over here. This song has uh, an electronic intro and it's perfect uh, as a demonstration. I will enable all the instances of uh, a DDA. And uh, this is the quantization noise you can hear. I'll adjust the input level so I can drive the input uh, in some way. So uh, this is a, a synth track. Let's pretend we have sampled that and we are playing it back on a vintage sample. Okay, I don't want to get creative now, I just want to add stack uh, emulations together to simulate a sampler. So I'm adding now the drum track and I'm passing through our virtual sampler, uh, adding it uh, input gain. And uh, if I turn this off and on while playing, you should already hear some of the difference.
it's pretty pretty important as an effect. Uh, if you stack it together, you can pre clearly hear some difference. Now it's time to add the vocals because we have vocals and let's pretend we use these vocals like we did in the old days, uh, recording the vocal through the sampler and playing it back uh, from the sampler. That's what they did uh, in the old uh, hip hop and dance days. So I'll add uh, the vocals back to the track and tweak the ADDA to add the, the analog grid here too. Poi la pausa caffè Da un po' si ferma perché Vedi le ombre, poi le vedi le forme Del controllo della vita che segue le tue orme Da vicino non lo vedi perché Il quadro è puntiforme Da lontano lo intravedi ma vuoi che te lo spieghi Si vede solo un coglione che dorme Che dorme Che dorme la pausa caffè il tempo si ferma perché vedi le ombre poi le vedi le forme del controllo della vita che segue le tue orme da vicino non lo vedi perché il quadro è puntiforme da lontano lo intravedi ma vuoi che te lo spieghi si vede solo un coglione che dorme well here the impact is pretty pretty important and uh, we have uh, a nice thicker sound a more vintage sound if I disable all the plugins at once and I run the, the song uh, disabling and enabling. You can clearly hear the difference. Dopo la pausa caffè, il tempo si ferma perché Vedi le ombre, poi le vedi le forme Del controllo della vita che segue le tue orme Da vicino non lo vedi perché Il quadro è puntiforme Da lontano lo intravedi ma vuoi che te lo spieghi Si vede solo un coglione che dorme Che dorme Che dorme Especially the vocals, they change a lot because uh, we, have, we are adding uh, uh, quite a good amount of aliasing uh, while processing that and give the vocals quite a peculiar sound that you may like or not, but it's clearly an indication of vintage digital sound. So, um, this is a Hornet IDDA, uh, which in this demonstration I've used as a, as a a virtual sampler, but you can use it as an effect to distort and create digital distortion to the track you want. Uh, so you, I think the best thing you can do is go on our website www.honeplugins.com, try it out the demo and see if it works for you and if you like it. We want to know your feedback, so uh, feel free to write your comments down in the box below here on YouTube uh, and uh, or write as an email. Thank you very much for watching this video.